Hello, hello. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Emerald, finally. It's been three weeks since I played this game. And it looks like it's... Uh, let, let me fix this real quick. This happens sometimes. When I swamp in between emulators, it tends to not want to work afterwards. Give me one second. There we go. Okay. Now, uh, since it's been three weeks, I really don't remember what I was doing. <laughs> I'm being perfectly honest. Uh, I already haven't played this game in like a decade, so I don't remember where to go. And uh, I don't remember what I was doing. Now, I do remember I caught three new Pokemon at the last... Well, at least I, I tried to catch three Pokemon. I don't remember if I succeeded. But if you look at the map here, which is going to be a big help for me, considering I don't know where I'm going. Okay, I caught a Pokemon in Route 117. Well, I tried to anyway. I don't remember if I did or not. Uh, 111 and 118. Route 117 goes back to where I was. I'm going to go this way first to fight any trainers I can. It might end up just dead ending, but that's fine. Pretty sure I go this way, just based on the number of the route. Now, for going forward with these streams, uh, beforehand, I'm going to start looking at a walkthrough. Not, not a lot. It's just literally to tell me which direction to go in. That's all I'm doing. It wouldn't help anyway, because like, I randomize all the Pokemon, but you know, I'm not going to find out what Pokemon to catch. Pretty sure I go this way. To start things off, I'm going to go to the left. It'll most likely be a dead end. Then I'm going to go to the right, which will most likely be a dead end. And I'll fight some trainers, get some experience, and then I'll go up. But uh, last time I'll, I tried to catch three things, I also did a gym battle. So I, I beat the gym, got three badges. Okay. This is the daycare center, I believe. Yep. Now, how about a quick look at the team? And I'm going to keep hitting the snapshot fo uh, button until the end of time. Okay. I have Grunt, the, uh, the Charmeleon. I got Morden, the Masquerade. I got Garrus, the Crawdont, who's way over-leveled. I have Thane. Uh, I believe I at a, out, of the three po out of the three attempts of Pokemon catching I did, he was one of them. Uh, Miranda, the Nidoqueen, which is kind of a problem. Uh... If you remember from Gen 1, any Pokemon that evolves from a stone, besides Evolutions, I believe, doesn't learn anything else. So her moveset's kind of bad. Good Pokemon, just I'm going to have to rely on TMs. And Rex the Larvitar, who is surprisingly one of my weak links. Mostly because of his just horrible defenses. But once he... um, I mean, he's a future Tyranitar, so... Alright. I'm going to try to level up Thane a little bit. All right, I already fought you. I caught a Pokemon in this grass, I believe, or at least I tried to. I could have done the water as well. Remember, it's a Nuzlocke. I can only catch one Pokemon per route, whether it's in the water or grass. The only way I can get around that is something I already did that I was not expecting to. The Shiny Claws. I found that Shiny uh, Surfskit, which evolved into a Masquerade, in the same cave that I caught something else. I never thought I would ever have to use that clause but if this is my first nuzlocke and i'm surprised uh i got to do it training is meaningful only if you keep it up regularly yeah tell me about it i haven't used my treadmill in a month uh the air is tasty here mm. okay i don't think i got this far so anything beyond here i believe i have to fight isn't it nice to battle while looking at pretty flowers all right, here we go. I haven't played Pokemon in a couple weeks. I'm going to get in the Pokemon mood here. All right. Ooh, nice. Altaria. Uh, I, I feel like it's a very overlooked dragon type. I like it. I like I like the weird dragons in this game. I like Altaria, and I like Flygon. I don't hate Salamence, but I feel like, I don't know, I've seen them too much. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay. Uh, Altaria, huh? I don't have a dragon move. I don't have an ice move. Well, the next best thing would be to get in Rex and use a rock move, but I think I actually gave a rock move to Miranda. E nope, no, I did not. No, oh, rocks. Okay, he has rock slide. Cool. Go, Rex. Now, Rex has been resurrected once. I did not put a rule in place where I can only resurrect a Pokemon, the same Pokemon once. Again, it's that roll. It went really well the last time. 
And putting that, not putting that rule in place will make me use the rule more often. And, uh, bye. For being kind of a baby Pokemon, Larvitar hits pretty hard. It's just, its defenses are so bad. I mean, it doesn't look bad. I just feel it's bad. I feel it's bad for him. <laughs> like, I feel like I just haven't been taking hits very well. Quite impressive. Ooh, money. I'm actually not so hard up on money, because one of the things I randomized in this game was I shuffled the, the on-field items, which means every expensive thing I find I don't want, like vitamins, I sell. Concentration uh, on getting the win. I already butchered uh, reading. Concentrate on getting the win. That's how I battle. Come on, legendary Pokemon. That That's pretty far from legendary. So yes, it randomizing the Pokemon, it it can give me an advantage because I can catch some really fully evolved, powerful Pokemon. But one thing, they're hard to catch. They have an increased, or if you want to look at it that way, decreased catch rate. I've had a chance to get a Metagross before, and I just, I've wasted all my Pokeballs. I couldn't get them. All right, you know what? I No, I do not want to... <laughs> I'm going to screen capture. I need to remap the button to X. Callie! I haven't seen you in a while. I know you've been busy with work. How is your, uh, how is your day going? Nope. <laughs> I really need to remap the buttons on this thing. Alright. Let's go, Thane. Let me demonstrate the power hidden within a psychic Pokemon. Bet it's not going to be psychic. Oh. Well, good. Have a nice uh, nice day off. That is not a psychic Pokemon. Now, water is the bane of my exist existence in this playthrough. As you can see, uh, let's see. Uh, weak to water. Weak to water. Weak to water. Quad weak to water. And this is even worse because it's also a ground type. Uh, weak to ground, weak to ground, weak to ground. <laughs> but luckily I have my best buddy overpowered Garrus. The reason why Garrus is so overpowered is because he's my only water resist and it's a randomizer. So you're going to run into a bunch of different kinds of Pokemon and there's more water Pokemon than any type. So being weak to water is great. Get him Garrus. Oh no, electricity's been weak. I always uh, thought it was funny that a move called Mudsport, which weakens electricity attacks, uh, is usually on Pokemon that are immune to electric attacks. So, good job. Uh, Well, Gen 3 is my favorite overall. I picked Emerald because it's been forever since I played Gen 3, and Emerald has some extra stuff in it. But I'll be honest, um... The fact that I haven't played this gen in over a decade, combined with my increasingly bad memory, I don't remember where to go in this game. So, I might get a little lost. And Sword and Shield were your first Pokemon games? Ooh, oh, there's something. Like I said, I have no use for these vitamins. I'm going to sell them. Make some money. Like, I'm more shocked than anything. How did you, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised, like, how did you manage to not play a Pokemon game for so long? It's like, I feel it have been forced on you at some point. Score girl Thomas, uh, oh yeah, the, the trainers are also randomized. Now, I could take a chance here. I mean, what's he going to do to me, right? Now, if you don't, and if you don't, if you're not familiar with the rules, though, this is a Nuzlocke. If something dies, it's dead. It is forever dead. I can only catch the first Pokemon I find on every route. Yeah, yeah, I can see. Like, if you're gonna, if you're playing Animal Crossing and Harvest Moon, I feel like that's that's your Pokemon game right there. It's 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 to make it harder, but it's also like. It's kind of like XCOM in that it, it makes you it makes you connected to your Pokemon. 
So it's like when they die, it's like a big deal. That's the whole, that's part of the point of the Nuzlocke. It's difficulty, but also, okay. Uh, bye. Uh... I hate to go to Garrus, but I might go to Garrus. Going to Garrus. Now, more, normally with Nuzlocke, when you die, you're, you're when you say like when you say when you when you die, your Pokemon's dead forever. I have a different rule set. Uh, actually, I have not found any Poke Dolls. They might not exist for a bit, but you have a good point. I should probably stock up on those when I have a chance. Look at that. You've only played one Pokemon game and, you're, and you already remembered something I didn't. <laughs> Poke dolls are a thing. Yeah. <laughs> hey, sometimes that kind of helps. It's like more, it's more fresh in your mind. It's not diluted by 20 Pokemon games worth of knowledge. Please allow me to evaluate how you have raised your Pokemon properly. <laughs> well, I've already had one die, so uh, the rule that I put in place, I can roll. I can roll a d6, and every time I get a roll, this person has six Pokemon. Damn. Uh, every time I get a certain roll, things happen. Oh, thank you for the host music, as usual. Hope we're having a good weekend. Uh, you know, I might be able to take him. We'll find out. But the rolls uh, get increasingly worse as you go down. Okay, I'm getting out of here. My defense went down. Uh, Rex. If I roll a six, the Pokemon that fainted is revived. No questions asked. Nothing bad happens. Full revival. That's what I got for Rex. I got super lucky. I actually had someone in chat roll it for me. And I got a six. Which means Rex is back to life. If I roll a five... I have to sacrifice a Pokemon for my box or party. You're not in this fight alone. Oh, thank you for oh, thank you for subscribing, Kelly. Yay! Together, we will defeat them. Yeah. Do you do you like my uh, Mass Effect alerts in poke in a Pokemon game? Uh, you know what, Morden. Oh yeah, here's the shiny. I could not believe I found a shiny. I have not... I, I can't remember the last time I found a shiny legitimately in... I think it might have been Gen 3, actually. I think it was a, a Talo. Oh, now you can use the Blitzball emotes. <laughs> oh, I still have water moves. Cool. All right. Oh, nice hit. But yeah, if you find a shiny... Um, I'm allowed to catch it. I'm allowed to catch a new Pokemon. I found this in the same cave as I caught something else. I think it was Nidoqueen where I found in there. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. What, what, what shiny is it? Is it a good one? Hopefully it's a good one. Uh, hmm. Miranda, go. I have a couple shinies, uh, just because I, I was breeding a lot of Pokemon. Don't you... Oh, yeah, you, I was going to see. I am a true Pokemon master. I legitimately almost just said, please don't poison my Nidoqueen, a poison type. Uh, Rock Smash. It's weak, but it's super effective, and I can lower their defense. Yay. Oh, you got a shiny Blastoise? Uh, I haven't really touched on the fact that uh, they've, they've opened up, like, 500 new Pokemon in the Pokedex. In Gen 8, I haven't really done that yet. I do have Pokemon Home. I actually am in the process of moving Pokemon over from my Gen 3, 4, and 5 games. And 6. It's... It's a thing. It's a thing. Oh, cool. Whiskash. Uh, you know what? It's, um... They didn't think ahead when they were making the... Uh, how you, uh, move things over. In order to move Pokemon over from Gen 3 to 4, you actually have to insert the Game Boy game into the, the Game Boy slot and then put the Gen 4 game and then do like a thing where you go into a park and catch them all. 
Luckily, I didn't have to do that. I have no Pokemon left in Gen 3 that are worth carrying over. Not really. Uh, Gen 4 to 5, however, is a weird one. Alright, come on, hold on, I, 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 okay. Actually, no, wait, hold on, hold on, I'm, I'm getting my Pokemon games mixed up here. Gen 4 to 5. Gen, okay, yeah, yeah, Gen 4 to 5. Basically, you have to do this kind of machine thing where you play a little mini game and you fling Pokeballs at the Pokemon moving around on the screen. It's weird. And I had about 500 Pokemon to transfer, so I'm not done yet. Uh, Gen Sword and Shield is Gen 8. So I had Gen I had Pokemon from Gen 3, 4, 5, and 6. I don't have anything from 7 because I didn't play 7. Uh, hmm. Which means I'm kind of at a disadvantage, because in Gen 7, I don't have any Pokemon from it. So I'm missing all the Gen 7 Pokemon. Except for the ones that are in uh, Gen 8. <laughs> oh, you missed more than that. If Pokemon, if, if Pokemon Shield and Sword were your first Pokemon games, oh man... <laughs> You missed the stadium games, you missed the Coliseum games, you missed the trading card game on the Game Boy, the Pokemon pinball games. <laughs> so many. Wait, but title... Oh. Oh. Thank you for pointing that out. I changed everything but that. <laughs> Professional streamer here. And hello, Crawl. Let me, uh, let me just fist that real quick. Uh, hmm. Pokemon. I'm a typer. Listen to my awesome mechanical keyboard. Kind of backfired when I got this. I wasn't screaming yet. It's a little loud. Uh, Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke stream number three. Boom. All right. Back to the game. <laughs> yeah, luckily in this game, uh, when you run into someone who has six Pokemon, they're usually pretty low leveled. So even though it's a randomizer, what's the worst that could happen? I'm Mewtwo at level 11? Okay. What do you think? Are these flowers pretty? I planted them all. Let me just walk all over them. Yay, dive ball. <laughs> Randomizing the on-field items is pretty fun. Find some weird stuff. Alright, yep. Yeah, it should have it should have updated now. Hey, I'm in Verdanter Town. I haven't been here, have I? No, I haven't been here. I don't think there's anything really here though. Well, let's take a look around town. On this one, uh, on this one, no, but on, if you're talking about Pokemon Sword and Shield, yes. <laughs> Pokemon Sword and Shield, I completed the Gen 8 Pokedex. I am currently in the very slow process of completing the new one. Far away, deep in Evergrande City is the Pokemon League. The trainers who gather there are all frighteningly well-skilled. Can't wait to see what Pokemon they have. In the Pokemon League, I think the rules say that you have to battle the Elite Four all in a row. If you lose to any of them, you have to begin your challenge again from the first one. Now, I, I have set the rule. I cannot use healing items in battle. I cannot. I can use berries if I have them on already. I can use items in between, in between fights, but I cannot use items in battle. The way the wind blow, volcanic ash is never blown in, in, in this direction. The air is clean and delicious here. Living here should be do wonders for even frail and sickly people, which means uh, Wally's probably here. Let me see your Pokemon. I'll check to see how much it likes you. It's getting used to you. It seems to believe in you. Oh, that's nice. Wanda's house. I have no idea who that is. Oh, Wally's next door. But boy, there's something I have to tell you. This natural environment is doing wonders for Wally's health. 
Maybe it's not just the environment. It could be Pokemon that are giving the boy hope. My daughter's boyfriend is a very driven and passionate sort of person. He's been digging a tunnel nonstop so he can see my daughter. My daughter's a little concerned, so she goes all out. Uh, so goes out to the tunnel a lot. Oh yeah, that's where the tunnel's going to connect the two towns. Hey, it's Wally. I lost to US, but I'm not feeling down anymore because I have a new purpose in life. Together with my Ralts, I'm going to challenge Pokemon gyms and become a great trainer. Please watch me, Wes. I'm going to be stronger than you. When I do, ugh, when I do I'm going to challenge you to another battle. Now, this is a randomizer once again, so he does not have a Ralts. I don't remember what he had the last time. The thing is, in, in the randomizer settings, I put it to where I wanted my rival to keep the same starter, but I guess it doesn't work on Wally. Heal me. Alright. Uh-oh. Bitrate spike. Bitrate. I really wish... We, I, you know, I wish it would stop doing that. I still haven't been able to figure out why it does that. Last night, it did it like once. So, who knows. The reason why anyone uh, would visit Vanda Turf, it's the battle tent. It goes without saying. Or is there someone here that you want to, that you came to see? Not doing the battle tent. You can't consider yourself a real trainer if you don't have faith in your Pokemon. Only those people who can believe in their battling Pokemon can win uh, through to the very end. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what does it. I, I've done I've run tests. It, it might just be my connection to Twitch. I'm not sure. They don't last very long. Uh, hmm, look at that money. Uh, buy some more of a great balls. How many super potions do I have? Nine? I'll buy one more. And antidotes are important. You don't want to be stuck in the middle of nowhere dying from poison. Fluffy tail. Oh, hey, look, it's the polka doll. You know what? Buy, I'm buy four. Yeah. I always think they're like more annoying than they really are. When I see it happening, I'm just like, oh no. But I watch plenty of people that will occasionally buffer for like you know, like a second. It's not, it's not that bad. My Pokemon and I, we've been riding a hot winning streak. So I decided to make my battle tent debut in this town. My papa told me, he says this tunnel is full of timid Pokemon. They all get scared of loud noises and make a big uproar. So they had to stop the big tunnel project. But there's one man... He's trying to dig the tunnel by himself. Yeah, this is normally just nothing but Wishmers. I believe I already caught a Pokemon in this tunnel because it, it connects two towns. Yeah, there's literally nothing here. By the way, it's like nothing here to do. I wonder if the tunnel's done. What do you call a wild man up in the mountains? A mountain man, right? So why don't they call a Pokemon in the mountains a wild or a mountain Pokemon? Uh, Battle 10 is one of those things that's only in uh, Emerald. You, well, the one that I did anyway, you use random Pokemon. It, it, it give you like rental Pokemon that you use. I don't know if every tent's the same though. The only one I've been in so far, it, they give you Pokemon to use. Which technically I could do in a Nuzlocke because they're not mine, but I kind of decided not to do a lot of the side stuff. Well, that and contests. I, honestly, I don't even know if contests are in this game. And once again, it is a water type, which is the bane of my existence in this playthrough. Considering I have four Pokemon weak to water. <laughs> and Garrus living up to his name. He is the best Pokemon I have so far. Also explains why he's five levels higher than he should be. It's Gloom! And I'm getting out of here. Um, grunt. Oh, you... Mm. You, give me, you give me like that, huh? <laughs> Woohoo! What else you got? What else you got? What else you got? Oh, Dean. 
Oh yeah, I get hurt by poison even though I haven't done anything yet. I forgot about that. Yeah. It, like, it's been so long since I've done the Battle Frontier. It's fun. And there's so many water types in this game, I hate it. And no, I'm not doing that as a, as a, as a joke about how there's too much water. 7 out of 10. It's just... With a randomizer, there are so many water Pokemon. <laughs> and my team is so water weak. I feel like the fact that Gen 3 is my favorite... I don't think that's too controversial, but I feel like Gen 3 is the gen where a lot of people say they stopped losing, they just lost interest in Pokemon. I don't know, this is kind of where I hit my stride, though. This and uh, I played a lot of Gen 4, I don't remember it, but hey, it's Swinub! Another ground type. Alright, I already caught something in here, by the way. You know what? It's. I need to be careful here. I have Thane in the in the in the front of my party to get experience, but if I go to an area that has high level Pokemon, I won't be able to escape. I need to be careful, and I need to also take the poison off of Char Archer Melee. <laughs> oh, though, that would have been cool. I'll be honest. Vaporeon was my least favorite evolution in Gen One. Now it's my it's my second. It's in the middle. Nope. I hit the screen capture button again. <laughs> All right. Where are my poison heals? There they are. I, I'm hoping I was I was really, really hoping there'd be more there'd be new evolutions in Gen 8. Give me a dragon or a poison or a fighting. Something I, I literally won't stop hitting the screen capture button. Okay, just for now, I'm going to take Thane out of the front. I'll put him back in when I'm fighting trainers. I'm assuming purple's your favorite color for Pokemon, <laughs> since you have the shiny Blastoise. That means you must like my shiny mask ring, because it's... It, well, no, wait, is it green or purple? My brain, my brain is weird. I literally can't remember if it's green or purple. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just kill it. Bye. Okay. Oh. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, look who it is. It's the Mirror B Pokemon. On the other side of this rock, my boyfriend is there. He's not just digging the tunnel to c come see me. He works his hands raw and rough for the benefit of everyone. Let me help you. Let me get the job done for you. You shattered that boulder blocking the way. To show you how much I appreciate it, I would like you to have this HM. Oh! <gasps> I don't remember which one HM4 is. Strength. That makes sense. If a muscular Pokemon were to learn that, it could be able to move even large boulders. Wanda! Now, having some uh, some 90s spawn flashbacks there. Now I can see you anytime. That's wonderful. Please take some rest at my home. Bye. So purple. Purple, purple, purple. Uh, top of my head. Which Pokemon? Yep, it's green. For some reason, I thought it was purple. I don't know why. I think it was because the Surskit was purple. And then it evolved. It became green. Uh, let's see. Well, a lot of poison types are purple. You got Arbok. Uh, Swalot. Uh, M Grimer and Muck. I'm sure you love them. Also, ghost types. Gengar. Haunter. Ghastly. Oh, you know what? Why not take this opportunity to show everyone what Pokemon I have in my box? Okay, I have Jack the Ekans, pretty much a backup at this point. I have Ashley the Chimico, who is, uh, well, I'll be honest, she's kind of a sacrifice. Oh yeah, I never finished the numbers. <laughs> um, when something dies, it, I don't have to roll. I can choose to roll. Six, fully revived, no downside. Five, 
I have to I have to sacrifice a Pokemon of my choice to revive that Pokemon. Uh, who do you think I sacrifice first? Uh, this useless thing. Uh, a four is I have to sacrifice a Pokemon in my party, which is important because I can't I can't change my party around before I do it. So it could be something good. And I say that because it's not my choice. I have to roll again, and the number dictates which Pokemon slot I have to sacrifice. If I roll the same number as the fainted Pokemon, I get to choose which one I sacrifice. So there's a plus. Uh, three, nothing happens. Except the Pokemon's dead forever, like normal. Then we get into the bad ones. Uh, two is I have to uh, choose a Pokemon of my choice to sacrifice, and I get nothing out of it. So basically I lose the Pokemon that fainted, and a Pokemon of my choice, which sucks. One is pretty bad. One is like four, where I have to roll and a Pokemon of my party dies and I don't get anything in return. However, if the number that I roll is the same as the number of the fainted Pokemon, um, everyone's dead. It's a nuke, basically. If I roll a one and then roll the number of the Pokemon in the slot that's fainted, I lose every Pokemon of my party. It is not a game over. Technically in a Nuzlocke, if all the Pokemon in your party are out, you lose. Even if you still have Pokemon in the box, you're dead. Game over. Runs over. But if I roll a one and then the number of that fainted Pokemon, all my Pokemon in my party are dead, but I can still continue with the ones on my pot in my box. So, still not a great choice. <laughs> That's why it's super... If the Pokemon that died better be really, 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 really good. Or else I'm not doing it. Alright, back. I don't know what. Okay. So Chimiko is literally the sacrifice. I have Kasumi, the Minim. The Mindun. Not great, but it's not awful, I guess. I have Samara, the Golduck, which is a good backup to Crawdont if he dies. And I have Jacob, the Camerupt, who's a decent backup to Charmeleon. If you haven't noticed, uh, all my Pokemon are named after Mass Effect characters. <laughs> For Grunt, for, for, um, for Garrus and Rex, I ignored the genders. Uh, Garrus is the Crawdunt, who's female. Rex is the Tyranitar, who's female. Thing is, I feel like Rex and Garrus aren't necessarily guy names only. It kind of works. Plus, how could I not name a future Tyranitar Rex? And Garrus' uh, description in the Pokedex is perfect for him. He's a scarred warrior who's a great battler who loves to fight. It's perfect for him. Let me just speed up some stuff here. Okay. But from now on, I'm going by the genders. That's why Jacob the Camera Up exists. One of my least favorite characters in the game. And Camera Up's kind of meh, so I named him Jacob. Okay. I'm going right now, because I'm pretty sure it's a dead end. But there might be some trainers to fight. Which means... My best Drell buddy Thane is going to be in the front. Alright, I already fought these guys, obviously. Fought you. Already fought you. Pretty sure I fought you too. Yep. All right. Well, nothing over here. <laughs> I'm trying not to use the speed up button too much, but I I'm going to try not to use it. I'm going to try not to use it. It's the impatient part of my brain. I, I need to stop. Okay. Fought you too. Route 11. Fought you. Fought you. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. This house is extremely dangerous on Nuzlocke playthroughs. You have to fight a bunch of trainers in a row, and I can't use items in between. Should I do it? Should I risk it? I mean, it's a Nuzlocke. Why play it safe, right? If I, you know, if I roll that die, it could be literally game over. I mean, if I lose all the Pokemon on my team, and I have to use the Pokemon in the box, I'm dead. <laughs> like... I'm not allowed to sit and grind for very long, so. Oh, this is going to be bad, but you know what? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm going to rely I'm relying on you, Garrus. Hello, I take it you're a traveler. How's this? What do you say to taking on, uh, on our family of four in a series of Pokemon battles? Let's do it. Oh, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it. Artist Bob would like to battle. Quillfish. It's always water Pokemon. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's a randomizer. Give me something different. 
Oh, I knew it. As soon as I did it, I knew Poison Point. Yep. He's going to do this, huh? He's going to Poison Stall me with Minimize. All right. Does he have Leftovers or a Berry? He does. Okay. Hit him. Hit him. Okay, good. Whew. That's one down. Well, thing is, I don't think I'm going to lose this. I don't think this is going to be a game over. I think I might lose something, though. And my point is, if I roll horribly, I could lose my entire party. And again, water type. So I don't think I'm going to game over, but I might lose something here. <laughs> they all have berries. I hate this. I hate this family. Damn berry family. Got here. Berry water family. Oh, well, there you go. First one down. Now, it's very annoying that my first person is poisoned. That is that is very annoying. All right, one down, three to go. I found a pretty strong trainer. Oh my goodness, aren't you young? You must be quite the trainer to beat my husband, though. It's my turn to battle now. All right, come on. Yeah, I might have forgotten to put berries on my Pokemon before this battle. Might have been a good idea. Why is it a water Pokemon? <laughs> Why? Get out of here. I shouldn't have used the speed up button, but I, I wanted to die as fast as possible. Stop with the water Pokemon. My four Pokemon that are weak to water want to do something. This is just like my normal playthrough of Mass Effect. Garrus is always on my team, and I use nobody else. You're stronger than Mommy? Wow, but I'm strong too. It's going to be a water Pokemon, isn't it? It's going to happen. All right. You got three. All right. Well, that's the opposite of water. Cool. Good choice. Oh, Garrus can't. That makes him even more like Garrus from Mass Effect. He can't be intimidated. All right. Rex it is. Don't you burn me. I swear if you burn me, I'm going to burn <laughs> <laughs> now give me a break here. All right. And dead. This isn't so bad. I think it's because I'm a little overleveled. Oh, it's Swinub, who actually could do a lot of damage to me. Bye. Yep, that's right. Morden is intimidating. Huh. Didn't think this through. I was like, he's an ice type. Let me throw out my, my my flying type. That'll work. Uh, Which is stronger? Weak bubble that's super effective or quick attack that's not super effective but does more damage? Hmm. My attack is better, I think. No, no, my special attack is better. Bubble... Mort Morden spewing bubbles at people. God, that's so weak. Alright, hurry it up. I'm gonna I might turn animations off to make this go a little faster. I'm I didn't lower my speed enough. Alright. Oh, cool. Useless crit. It's like I'm playing Pokemon Stadium. Anyone who's played Pokemon Stadium knows two things. One, that game cheats, and two, you get useless crits. Uh, hmm. Go Grunt. Gust? I don't remember. In Gen 3, is Gust still a normal type move? I know they switched it over to flying eventually, but I think, at least in Gen 1, it was just a normal move, even though it's called Gust and it's a flying move. Gen 1 had some weird mechanics. Like Zapdos being weak to electricity, even though it should have been neutral. Yes, you did lose. I only have one left. 
Oh, I made her cry. How dare you make my granddaughter cry? For that, I'm gonna smack you. Uh, hey. That is not acceptable. Artist Chloe. Oh, that's it? That's all I gotta get through? Alright. Scary Grandma has a... Scary Grandma has the muck knockoff. One of the mo in my in my in my brain anyway, one of the most forget for, uh, forgettable Pokemon in Gen three is the is Swalot. And does that raise attack and if yeah? No, oh, it only raises special defense. Okay, okay. Uh, well, I don't have an Earth or a Ground move, which is kind of sad. Oh, look at that. I got the Lucky Paralysis. And the... Pa wow. Keep it up. Well, considering uh, I'm going to kill it in the next turn, I don't care about that. Woo! I beat the family. <laughs> it helped that I was higher leveled. You are strong. My granddaughter was right. If you're not in any hurry, visit us a while. Okay. You're the first trainer I've seen who deploys Pokemon so masterfully. But I should tell you, my son is stronger than you. He even took the Pokemon League Challenge, I'll have you know. Oops, and I'm still poisoned. There's no question that you're strong, but if you were to battle my grandson, you'd end up crying in frustration. He's much stronger than any trainer our family knows. He must be challenging uh, the Pokemon League champion by now. Knowing my grandson, he could be the champion already. Well, good for you. <laughs> hey, happy Blitz Balls. Wait, oh. Pfft. Let me use it on the Pokemon that actually is poisoned. There we go. Mommy is stronger than Daddy. I'm stronger than Mommy. And Grandma's stronger than me. But my big brother's even stronger than Grandma. We use, the mo uh, we use this Macho Brace to more effectively strengthen our Pokemon in training. Since you've beaten all of us here, I don't know if you need it, but we would like to have you to have it. Yay. I'll never use it. Cool. <laughs> I'll sell it. Go back and heal. Oh, another rule I implemented. Um, during uh, gym battles, I can only leave to heal at a Pokemon Center once. Otherwise, I have to rely on items. Just to make it so I don't like, you know, fight trainer, go heal, fight trainer, go heal, fight trainer, go heal. It's kind of boring. I need a little bit of risk. It's a Nuzlocke. It's no fun if there's no risk. Yep, and you lost. You suck. All right. Uh, What is this building again? Trainer Hill Entrance. I do not know what this is. Uh... Do you know when they're opening? Oh, it's not open yet. Okay. <laughs> it's probably a late game thing. It's probably another one of those just late game challenges. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, I have to teach someone strength. I need to waste someone's moveset. You know, I might give it to uh, Nidoqueen. Her moveset's already garbage anyway. <laughs> she already has body slam though. All right, Kelly. Since we're since we're playing some Pokemon here, what starter did you pick? Actually, which version do you have? Do you have Sword or Shield? I don't I don't know which one to say, but in Gen Eight, uh, what's your what's your starter of choice? What team are you? Um, hmm. Hmm. Miranda already has Rock Smash, and she already has Body Slam. Maybe I should give this to somebody else. Well, if anyone's going to be using strength, it's going to be a Krogan. Oh, I picked the one starter you didn't. <laughs> yeah, I should have gotten rid of Ground instead of Smoke Screen. Oh, well. Eventually, I get rid of both anyway. But yeah, I'm Team Grookey. Wait, wait, hold on. 
Oh, that threw me off. I, when I said Grookey, I thought you, you typed in Gronky, and I was like, oh, gr Green Monkey. What is that thing's name? Wait, is Grookey... Oh, I, I'm, hold on, I'm getting, my, I'm, I'm getting my names mixed up. Grookey is the monkey. Sobble. It's Sobble. I literally picked him, and I couldn't remember his name. Sobble. Uh, my brain is going. I'm getting old. Keto, the keto diet. The keto diet has ruined my... <laughs> I mean, it works. Gronky makes sense. It's a green monkey. Could be a good nickname for him. If you don't raise your Pokemon some more, it could be tough to keep winning up through the ranks. I've heard the Pokemon League's Elite Four are far stronger than any gym leader. Oh. This might be a double battle. Yeah, I'll be honest, after seeing all three, I like Grookey the best. I like his line the best. Sobble's okay. I don't like Scorbunny. I have never been a big fan of the more humanoid Pokemon. Like, Alakazam is about as far as I go on that. Like, like uh, the Score Bunny line, Cinderace is just, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, if this is a double battle, let me uh, prepare properly here. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, we just spotted a tough-looking trainer here of all places. Okay, roll camera. Let's get this interview. Ready to lose on camera. Juggler Kim and Zoe would like to battle. Ursa Ring and... Okay, well... You know, I kind of like Ursa Ring. I feel like I'm weird saying that, but I kind of like it. Also, Intimidate works on both of them, doesn't it? Yep. Intimidate in double battles is great. Okay. First things first, Thane, uh, run. You're sickly. Get out of here. Uh, Runt. And my god, Morden's moveset needs some work. Uh, he's, his moveset's so bad. Um, Rex. No, no Rex. I mean, I, I don't mind what he is. The idea that the game, where the game is based, the fact that he's like a football player. But I just, I... Again, I, maybe it's because I find humanoid Pokemon a little weird and creepy. I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's like the weird humanoid ones. It's like, eh. Uh, double kick. Everyone's getting that XP. And then is this going to kill? It is not. Oh, it's not going to kill. What's the worst he could do to me? Like I said. Uh, I tend to pick grass starters more than anything. It's just a habit. Let's see. Gen 1, I picked Bulbasaur. Gen 2, I picked Chikorita. Gen 3, I picked Trico. Gen 4, I switched it up and went uh, Piplup. Gen 5, I went... Uh, Snivy. I went back to grass. Gen 6, I actually went with, uh, uh, what is it called? What is it called? Fennekin? Which might have been the worst one to pick. That is the only time I went fire. Because, uh, and then Gen 7, for what little I played Gen 7, I picked Rowlet. So, grass again. And then I picked water in Gen 8. Uh, who are you? I knew we were onto something wild when we spotted you. Please let me explain. We travel around everywhere interviewing all sorts of traders. So would you like to give us a bit of your time for an interview? Sure. I need you to describe your feelings about our battle, but it has to be short and sweet. Go! Um... Uh... It was alright. <laughs> That's something I would say. Like, eh, it was me. That's perfect. I get the feeling that this will make a great TV show. There's a chance that we'll air this on TV, so make sure to look for us. We'll be seeing you as they just stand there and not move. All right. All right, well, you know what? Let's have some Pokemon fun in chat here. W Ooh. I got a good question, good question, everyone. What is everyone's favorite Pokemon type? I don't know where you're going, but would you like to battle? I feel like everyone's got to have a favorite type, right? 
Chief Marshal would like to battle. No, oh, not to. And I'm gonna get Thane out of here. I really miss having an electric type. I tend to always have an electric type in my party in a playthrough. I always do. And this time I don't, and it bothers me. However, Miranda does have an electric move, so that's a plus. And yes, I'm switching into a psychic type with a poison type. <laughs> Uh, nope, hit the wrong button. I did a goof. I lowered his defense. <laughs> it's evolution. Evolutions are your favorite type, huh? Eh, fair enough. Yeah. You know, uh... Nidu Queen actually has a pretty good special attack and attack, but mine is adamant natured, which means my special attack is kind of meh. Which is unfortunate. What else you got? Oh, it's Seal. I like Seal. Not for this fight, though. I mean, my favorite type is Steel type. A few of my favorite Pokemon happen to be Steel. I just like the typing. I like Caesar. Uh, I like uh, Metagross. Do, 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 do. I like Aegislash. Not because he's overpowered. I just like what he is. The idea that he's a, a literal sword and shield Pokemon. That's a ghost steel type. I like it. I'm full of pep, and my Pokemon is peppy too. Does that mean you only have one? Based on your grammar, you should only have one. He only has one. I approve. Oh, it's Stantler, another super forgotten Pokemon. Who remembers Stantler from Pokemon? <laughs> uh, normal type. Normal type. Normal type. Eh. Yeah, I'll chance it. You like all Pokemon types? Yeah. I mean, if they did their job. They made most Pokemon likable. There's no Pokemon I really hate. I'm not one of those people that hates the keys because they're literally just boo-boo keys, you know? They're <laughs> just jingle keys. I'm fine with them. It's fine. They're a fairy that collects keys. I get it. Or the people that love Gen 1 so much talk about that, where it's like, oh, an ice cream cone. How original. Like, dude, your gen literally has a, 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 a pile of goo and a ball with eyes. Two balls with eyes, actually. And a mouth. There's always going to be those kind of Pokemon. It also, I mean, it's possible to over... Uh, wow, hold on. My brain's... Uh-oh. Oh, you're seeing it live. My brain just did that thing where I forgot a word. Overdesign, I guess I should say. Overdesign Pokemon. Sometimes simple is better. Now, which way am I going? I don't think I can go this way yet. Nope, I can't. Oh, thank you for the follow, Carl. Kroll. Kroll. I'm also bad at pronouncing words, as you can tell. I need to read more. Actually, I need to read out loud more. Next time I read a book, um, I should read out loud as for stream practice. Hmm, idea of the day. Let me write that down. Uh, Swimmer Landon would like to battle. Ooh, oh, it's, uh, oh. Hey, look, Callie. It's Umbreon. Umbreon has a great shiny form. It's, it's like I said, simple is sometimes better. It's the same color black, pretty much. It's just... I like that that uh, darker kind of blue that he has instead of the yellow. Uh, sure. Gonna break evasion claws, huh? Hey, well, okay. I thought that missed for a second. It was delayed. Oh, bye-bye. Have a good day.
Don't miss. Don't miss. Okay, good. Yay. Oh, I killed the evolution. <laughs> Whoops. Man, things catching up nicely. One of my favorite things about Pokemon's Coliseum. Look, I'm not a huge fan of the Pokemon Coliseum game. The first one. The second one's better. But uh, I like the fact that you start with an Umbreon and Espeon. It's a great idea. In a game that's all about double battles, it's a great idea to have the two new, two newer evolutions at that time. Although, imagine this. If Coliseum had come out later, it would have been Glaceon and, and Leafeon. I have to admit, I am not a huge fan of Glaceon and, and uh, Leafeon. It's, it's a weird feeling that I love the originals. I love Espeon and Umbreon. I love Sylveon. But for some reason, the the, uh, the mid-gen ones they added, Glaceon and, and Leafeon, never quite felt right. Something about them. They were Gen 5. They were Gen 4, right? <laughs> I don't even remember. Gen 4 and 5 blend together a bit for me. For good reason. I used to do somewhat competitive Pokemon battles. And I did mostly mid to late Gen 4 and early Gen 5. That's why they kind of blend together for me. Is this a new route? Do I get to catch something new? Why am I so zoomed in? Okay. Uh, route 12. That's This is all Route 111. Team. Yes! I can catch something new here. Yay! This is one of the best parts of a Nuzlocke stream. I get to attempt to catch something new, which means I am not putting this first. Um, This will be good to get the Intimidate off. And this is where Nuzlocke's, this is where part of the Nuzlocke really shines. Having to catch that first Pokemon you meet in the route, the only thing that can keep me from catching it is if it's something I already have. That's the only rule. I'm going to save it in the emulator. Save. Just in case the game crashes for some stupid reason. It can happen. Okay. Here we go. Please give me something that's good against water. Give me a grass or an electric or something. <sighs> Another ground type. Another ground type. Why does this game hate me? Why do you keep giving me Pokemon that are weak to water? And I can't even evolve the stupid thing. Gligar isn't great until Gen 4 when he becomes Gligar. Or Gliscor, I mean. Um, Bubble. Well, unless I crit, unless I crit, this will not kill him. I think. You know what? I'll just quick attack. And I missed. Don't you poison me. I hate you. I... I I, mm, I'm already thinking of names I can name this thing. <laughs> oh, it's female, though. It's female. I'm kind of running out of female Mass Effect names. As you can see, I, I have a decent amount of female. Like I have half the party is female, and a lot of the box Pokemon are also female. What do I go to that won't murder this thing? Um, Miranda. Well, body slam. Whoo! <laughs> All right, time to catch me a Gliscor and have it be a backup of a backup. You know what, though? It's better than nothing, you know? Yay! I, I, meant, I didn't mean to speed it up, but I did. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah! I caught a Gliscor. It glides without making a single sound. It grasps the face of its foe using its hind and large front claws, then stabs with its poison barb. Well, that's kind of brutal. Ooh. I need a Mass Effect female name. Now, I have not used Tally or Liara yet, but no. Gliscor doesn't... Des Gl 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 Gligar, God, doesn't deserve Tally or Liara's name. But I've already used Ashley... And I've already... Oh, I know. I know a boring female name to give it. Boring character, anyway. And yes, the Andromeda names have now begun. 
Cora. Because I'll be honest, this thing will probably sit in my box forever. Now here comes the fun part of the of this where I get to see what I missed out on. This is kind of a depressing part because it's you get to see what you could have had. Let's see, so let's see let's see what Pokemon I could have had instead of a a a, a, a Gligar that's not going to be used. Well, that would have been cool. I like wheezing. I already have a poison type, but still, oh, I miss out on wheezing. Although, since uh, Gen 8 is the only one you've played, I'm sure you know what wheezing looks like in Gen 8. I love that thing, by the way. The top hat and the beard. I love it. <laughs> I know some people hate it. Oh, I could have had a Vaporeon. I already have two water types, but still, what else could I have had? Okay, that's just... It, it's another ground type, but still, it's a ground dragon. <laughs> Now that's a Thane. Like that, I would have named that Thane if I had it. I named, uh, I named, uh, Marowak Thane because it has a weapon and it's kind of like an assassin kind of thing. I don't know. It was, it's a little flimsy, but it's the best I could come up with. <laughs> All right. Going back to heal one more time. Hey, Andromeda does not. I'm just going to leave it at that. That's the sentence. Andromeda's not dot, dot, dot. <laughs> That's the sentence. I don't think it's that bad. The gameplay's fun. The gameplay's fun. I do find sandbox games pretty satisfying to play sometimes. It's that feeling of completion, like filling out the map and doing all the missions. It's the story and the characters that are kind of meh. Which is unfortunate because it's a Mass Effect game. Story and characters should be the best thing about it. All right, I'm putting Thing back in the front. I, the, here's the here's the very 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 weird part to me. I actually kind of like one of the characters, and it's one you wouldn't expect. I like Jaw just because he's an alien, he's cool. But I kind of like Liam. He's my favorite of the generic male humans. Maybe even all the humans, like the like Ashley, Caden, Miranda, uh, Jacob. James uh, and Cora. I kind of like Liam because of his personality. He's just like a laid back but funny guy. I kind of like that. When you're out on a picnic, why you simply have to sing. Come on, sing with me. No. Um, That is one of the promises I can make on stream right now. You will never have to hear me sing because it's never going to happen. <laughs> All right, time to run. Um, ooh, Grunt can take care of this. No, I didn't mean to do that. I, hit, uh, I looked at chat for a second and then hit the button. I meant to do this. Yay. Uh, Vetra. To me, it says something about how you feel about the game and how everyone does when they refer to Vetra as the female Garrus. That's kind of an insult to her character. <gasps> Evie! I have to put you down, but I like you. Or Drac. Drac is just other Krogan. Well, Evie, it's been fun. Just stomped Eevee into the ground. Look, the characters are... Okay, okay. Korra is a little boring, but honestly, Korra has the same problem as Jacob. She's boring on purpose. She has to be boring. It's the way It's the way her character is. It's just how she... It's her character. Uh, I like Liam. Vetra's, Vetra's fine. Uh, Drac is Krogan man, so that's that's just fine by default. Jaw is cool because he's an alien. That adds a bit of mis like you know mysteriousness to him because he's like the new alien guy. PB is okay. 
She's okay. How about we have a battle? You and me. The romances, unfortunately, aren't great either. Now, I told someone in a stream earlier that Dragon Age 2 is probably my least favorite Bioware game um, as far as romances are concerned. I just don't like a lot of them at all. Andromeda is a close second. I romanced Korra because I was male writer. It really wasn't that interesting. <laughs> and then when I played through again, I romanced PB. A little more interesting because she's a little more three-dimensional. A little more. Because she has that whole, like, she's been burned in the past by, a, by someone and doesn't want to get in a relationship anymore, and you kind of break through that. Similar to kind of how Jack is in 2, where she's been... Uh, where she's been betrayed so many times. And yeah, the craziness also helps too. Just a little, you know, she's interesting. If you, look, look, if you can't write a decent three-dimensional, like interesting character, at least make them a little crazy. It helps, trust me. Uh, I don't have anything for poison. I can resist it, at least. Aha! It doesn't work on me. But, uh, in my, in my, speaking of wheezing, in my, in my, uh, in my, uh, my shield playthrough, I used, uh, Galarian wheezing for a bit. Who was on my team? It's I, I played through it so quickly, I don't even remember who I used that, mu that much. Uh, I had my starter. Uh, I used, uh, of course I used Corviknight. Awesome Steel Bird. Hey man, is our leader really going to awaken that thing? Sounds like it, yeah, but I heard we need a meteorite to do it. Oh, I get it now. That's why the rest of the crew went out to uh, Fallibur. Fall Fallibur. Fall that place. You got it, and until they come back, we're not going to let anyone pass. Alright. My legs are solid from pounding up and down the mountains. They're not going to buckle easily, friend. Well, you're the opposite of me. Servant Marshal would like to battle. Oh, God, he has a metapod. Be honest, um, I've been trying to think of ideas for alerts when I'm playing a Pokemon game. I plan on playing a decent amount of Pokemon games on screen. And I've been thinking, what are some good alerts? I kept most of the Mass Effect alerts. The only alert that I've put into play so far is a raid. And it's fitting for the raid. That's why I did it. So hopefully someday someone will raid me while I'm playing Pokemon <laughs> so we can see. But uh, I need to think of some ideas. I, th I think I might have just thought of one. Hmm. It's kind of a stupid one, but it works. Bye-bye. Thane is catching up ever so slowly. Time to run. Uh... Yep. Yeah. I don't want to replace anyone on my team currently, but the fact that I, four of my teammates are weak to water is just... It's so bad. Luckily, when uh, Larvitar becomes a Tyranitar... He will lose his ground typing, and he'll only be double weak to water. <laughs> and with Sandstorm up, his, his special attack or special defense will be increased. God, Garrus. He's so... Garrus was the first Pokemon I caught, by the way. Rex was my starter. I got lucky enough to get that as a starter. Oh, it's Jinx. Remember how I said I don't like I don't like humanoid Pokemon? Oh, Mr. Mime. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Mime, I just hmm. Nope. <laughs> oh, in the, the new Mr. Mime, the new the new uh ice Mr. Mime is even creepier to me. My legs have cramped up. 
Yay. I got his I got his number. If I ever want to go hiking with a buddy. Alright. This is the only way I can go. I kinda I kinda like when when games like I like when games are open, but also when they kinda like show me where to go. Because I haven't played this game in so long, I forget where to go. I'm gonna go back and heal before I go into a cave. <laughs> Wait a minute, that means that you don't... Oh, it's right, since you didn't play Gen 1, you don't know the wonders of certain Pokemon, like Jinx. Like, you mean the one that was uh, retconned a bit because it was considered... Uh, well, there goes a bit rate. Do do do, gonna wait for the bit rate to come back. Do 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 do. It's still not back. Do do do, it's I'm watching a slideshow. Wow, this one's bad. Come on. Wow. It's like the worst one in a while. Hello, Internet. It's me, the person who pays for it. Comcast. Wow. Hmm. Wow, this one is not, uh, never ending, apparently. There it goes. That was really bad. Let me refresh this so I'm not super behind. Okay. Yeah, it happens, but that one was, that one was very bad. <laughs> like, I don't mind the ones that are like a second or two, but that one was bad. And there it goes again. They did it for a second. It was yellow for a second. Internet, I swear. Okay. All right. I don't even know if I healed yet. I was paying so much attention to the bit rate. I was like, did I heal yet? I healed again for good measure. Oh, yeah, I have a bike, by the way. <laughs> I, kind of, I was like, oh, yeah, I have a bike. Uh, one thing that I do not miss from these old games are the HMs. You, you do not know the annoyance of HMs. Like needing fly and surf and strength and rock smash and all that crap, taking up valuable move slots on your Pokemon just to be able to get around the map. That is something that I cannot believe lasted as long as it did. Uh-oh. New Pokemon alert. I'm going to save it. Once again, just in case the game decides to just die. Okay, game, I'm begging you here. Please, give me something that's not weak to water. <laughs> I will literally take anything that's not weak to water. There's so many choices. I'll take, an, I'll take a normal type. Just anything. There's like four types that are weak to water. I sm... Ah! <laughs> Why? <laughs> is, is, is this is this is this like a, a ground type randomizer? Look at this. I'm using a ground type against a ground type I just found, and I just caught another ground type. It's just Pokemon ground. It's Pokemon ground edition. Now, I know he can Earthquake me at any time, but I don't think he's going to. I'm going to catch it. I'm, I mean, I'm going to catch it. I have to catch it. I mean, it's a Pokemon. I mean, oh, 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 crap. <laughs> I have one chance to catch it. This isn't bad. This is a better backup than Gligar is, at least. This is better than Gligar. I will say that. That is my recommendation for Sand Slash. Underneath, it's in quotations, better than Gligar. I kind of want it. Now that I said that, I'm probably not going to get it because it's poisoned. Woo! I got my fifth ground type. I think. I think it's at least fourth. It curls up in a ball to protect itself from enemy attacks. It also curls up to prevent head stro heat stroke, heat stroke, during the daytime when temperatures rise sharply. 
Sure, it better not. Is it a female? It's so many female Pokemon. <laughs> um, I'm running out of names. What other female? I have you. Okay, I used Ashley. Haven't used Liara, but I'm waiting for a good Pokemon for that. I have used Jack, Samara, Miranda. Um, I used. I haven't used Edie, but that doesn't make any sense for this. I used Cora. PB's all I got left, and that kind of feels. You know, yeah, well, why not? <laughs> so I'm, just, I'm. Um, I already said though. Once I run out of names for a certain gender, I'm gonna move on to NPCs, which is why I'm saving Liara and Tally for better choices. PB. Kind of fitting though. I like PB better than Cora. Can I get some male Pokemon, please? There are so many male names I haven't used yet. Now let's see what I could have had. I hate this game. <laughs> I hate this game. I could have had a Gengar. This is dangerous because I might not be able to get away. Well. Whoo. All right, I need to switch uh, that out of my front slot for now. Curse you, Emerald Randomizer. I would have loved a Gengar. Or that. It, that would have been perfect for water types. A starter grass Pokemon. I'm killing it. I'm not happy. I'm killing it. And this is where I need strength. Oh. I don't have the badge to use strength yet. I have to come back. Does that mean I'm... That would have been cool to... Oh, I actually kind of like Grumpig, and it's a psychic type. I need a psychic type. Hmm. Did I miss a... I don't think I missed a gym, did I? No. Like, I haven't... I mean, if I go to the map... I did the gym in Mauville, and I've just gone this way. Yeah, I haven't missed anything. I've already been here, here, and there. I can't go anywhere else. I guess I just have to come back. Okay, I would have taken that. I would have taken that over the sand slash. <laughs> because I just need to find a leaf stone. Plus, it's a psychic and, gra and grass type. Plus, Executor was one of my most used Pokemon in Gen 1. I'm on Route 112, which I think I've already caught something on. I think this is the same route. Yeah, this is the same route. Pretty sure. Yeah. Even though I'm on the other side of this cave, it's the same route. So I cannot catch anything here. Let's pick some berries and I'll be on my way. Alright. Have, have a good, have a good din din. I'm not eating dinner until after I'm done streaming, so at some point. I caught hot Pokemon in Fiery Path. Take a look. It was a bunch of ground types. That's all this world seems to have until I can't catch something. Oh, you're oh, now he's toying with me. I could have had a Gengar. I almost want to like make a rule, like a, it'd be stupid, but like since I have so many stupid ground types, I almost want to call like type claws at this point. I know the species clause. The fact is, I have so many ground types that it's kind of getting ridiculous, and it's no, it's not, it's almost just not fun because I need, I want diversity, you know, different Pokemon. I. I might make a I might make a type clause. There's only so many places you can catch Pokemon in this game. Maybe I'll say if you have you can only have five. And maybe at that point I'll call, but maybe it, maybe it only works once. Uh, like for instance, uh, I already forgot what my <laughs> my memory is so bad. Uh, for instance, 
uh, species clause is if I run into something that I already have and then I run into it again, I have to keep going. Like, I, I can't catch it. But maybe type clause will be if I run into a ground type and then I run into a ground type again, even if it's the same Pokemon, I have to catch it. I give myself like one chance. One chance. And I'm switching out because I'm not dealing with spite. I might do that. I might, I'll, I'll count them. I think counting my starter, which technically will lose its ground typing, but that's the thing. If I lose a Pokemon or if I lose a typing, then it'll reset. If I have five of a type, I'm going to call type claws. But if I lose a Pokemon of that type, it's back in play. I'm pretty sure I have five ground types. If I don't, it's close. I mean, which would mean four, obviously. Numbers. Do, 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 do. Aren't you an adorable trainer? Please, I need a romantic battle. I'm somewhat... I'm somewhat decent. Okay. Oh, it's a slow poke. I'm going to murder this thing. Um, Again, it's a water type. And the only Pokemon I have that has a move good against water is also weak to water. But I'm going to go to it anyway. I hate you. <laughs> You know what? I'm just going to go to get... Oh, God. This kind of battle, huh? Stop it. <laughs> Is all you know yawn? Well, hey, it worked out. Kill it. I'm, I, I don't care. I'm, I don't care if I'm asleep. I just want it dead. Holy crap. And I'm asleep. The best Pokemon against it, and I'm asleep. Gotta wake up. Most of the time I get lucky with this, because early, it kind of balances out, because early game, a lot of legendaries at level 18, like this one, isn't aren't going to have any good moves. Or even sometimes not even attacking moves. Like, if that's the best it can do, I mean... Alright, well, it's starting to add up a little bit. <laughs> oh! I am not going to risk staying in. But. Do I want to risk getting hit by... An, I don't think he has a ground move. Oh. Well. Oh, yo, yeah. That is a ground move. His speed has been lowered. So if this kills, I'm good. But oh, I'm, I'm playing stupid now. I'm making mistakes. Like I said, I'm making mistakes. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just slowly, I'm just torturing my Pokemon at this point. What do I, I have nothing left to take a hit. Actually, I don't have anything left to take a hit. This is really bad. Um, grunt. Ow. This better hit. Whoo! Oh no! <laughs> if he had used much of that, might have killed me. If this misses, I'm screwed. Don't miss. Whoo! That was so bad. <laughs> that was like that. That was so bad. I literally switched in Pokemon that were weak to him like five times. God. You're de yeah, you're decent, right? You just oh man, that was bad. Is there a town up here? Okay, nope, nope. I'm back to what? Wait a minute. This is Route 111. This is where I was. Wait. Oh, I'm on the other side of the sandstorm. I see, which means I'm not close to a Pokemon Center. Welp. Time to use some potions. Uh, God, my team is so beat up. Uh, Garrus. Uh, Grunt. That should be okay for now. And also, I'm going to switch. I want to level up Thane. I can't 
take hits, though. I need to not take hits right now. Sorry, Thane. Watch there be a town just, like, right up here. Well, let's find out. There is not. <laughs> I still have a ways to go. I picked a bad time to mess up my team. But you know what? I have a decent amount of money. Wait. Wait, where's my... Okay, there, there. Um... And then some potions. I don't want to have Thane miss out on good experience here. I don't want to fight like 10 trainers and not have experience because I, I'm afraid to get hit. Oh, that was, that was a nice surprise Groudon. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Show me how much you've toughened your Pokemon. After that fight? Yeah, it's slow, bro. With the quote-unquote shelter on its back. Or, yes, it's back. It's tail. And once again, water type. You know what? I'm killing you. No! No! Oh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna kill you. It's gonna happen. You just keep yawning. I'm, I'm gonna... Yep. Yep, there you go. And Garrus is level 30. The powerhouse himself. Grass and water, huh? I really, really, really need to get Morden some new moves. I really do. He needs some something. Um. Wow, water grass is a pretty good combination against me. I mean, I'll go to Morden. And just spam a uh, quick attack. That's all I can do. Oh, swift. <laughs> what you got? Oh, it's Iggly Buff. Look how cute and helpless it is. It's so cute that I'm now, uh, that my Morden is now in love with it. Well, this is a thing. All right, switching out. Yeah, Miranda doesn't care about your cuteness. She, she will kill you. Morden might be a sucker for that, but uh, Miranda's not. You've toughened them considerably. There is much to be learned from your training style. I request a rematch if it behooves you. Yay. What's that? What am I doing? I'm thinking about making my own room here using a Pokemon move. I know, I'll give you this TM. Sure. This is something I did uh, in Gen 3, like my first time through, but haven't done it since. The, uh, the, the forts you can build. Cool concept. I feel like a lot of Pokemon games have interesting concepts that either don't work out the way they planned it or they just don't age well. They, they're, they're broken. They don't work anymore. This one's kind of cool, but like the underground thing is in one of them and... And no, I'm not doing that because I'm pretty sure Secret Power is a horrible move in battle. You know, can anyone learn Bulk Up? I might as well use these TMs, right? I mean, I don't want to replace anyone. My teammates are actually pretty good. I don't see getting rid of them until they're dead. So, nobody. Bullet Seed. Not worth really using, but nobody. Rock Tomb. Now, I am saving this for when uh, Rex... Well, Rex has Rock Slide. Maybe I should use this on someone. Miranda does need a better moveset. And she is adamant, which means this will do some good damage. I can't get rid of Rock Smash, and I don't want to get rid of Body Slam, but double... I mean, double kick isn't that great. What am I thinking? It's it's not. It's a power of 60 because it hits twice. This is 20, but it lowers defense. It's it's fine. Yeah. I gave, I gave her Shockwave just because it makes her a little more useful. 
That works. Nice rock move. All I need now is a ground move. Although I don't know what I'll replace for that, but... Secret power. Power of 70. That's better than I remember it. Huh. A power of 70 where anyone can learn it, huh? It is normal type. I could wait to get a normal type that's a normal type Pokemon that makes it stab, but still, a physical. This remember this is physical. A physical normal move could give it to Thane. Let me see what he has. Oh, that's right. He has headbutt. It's literally the same thing. No, screw that. I'll just keep it for now. Thief and Steel Wing, I have no one that can learn that. Wait. Morden might be able to learn Steel Wing. It'd be stupid because he's a special attacker. But. <laughs> nope, never mind. <laughs> That's the other downside to having Pokemon of the same type on the team. I can't. I can't use all my TMs. Old Lady's Rest Stop. Oh, well, cool. <laughs> I didn't have to use all those potions. Oh well. Oh dear, oh dear. Aren't you Pokemon? Aren't your Pokemon exhausted? You'd like to rest up? Yes, I would. 